Wow. I'm impressed how you contrast the uh, traditional with contemporary. That's what I love about Tokyo. Oh, I love the rush here. The energy of the city, you know? The speed of it. Uh, if New York doesn't sleep, then for me, Tokyo doesn't blink. So I noticed you didn't take any pictures. I'm waiting for the decisive moment. What's that? It's when the universe conspires to show you something special. Or maybe it's when you finally learn to recognize what is special. Rolling! He and the people, they really have a, it's, it's a massive place and it, like a lot of the times you're crammed into trains like sardines but people care for one another even though most people are strangers to one another and uh, yeah I really like the respect that people give one another and the, uh, the work that I'd say the amount of effort and dedication that people put into their work, uh, it's really inspiring and it makes me try that much harder for whatever I'm doing. I'd like to come back for cherry blossom because I heard it's amazing and it's only once a year. Maybe go skiing also. Um, what else? I still have a lot of places to go. I love the, all the little quaint bars. Um, like only fit like three people to maybe so I think it's very, it, it's very, it has a homey feel to it. It's not like you go to this bar and it's, you don't know anyone here. It's you enter and then everyone greets you like really loudly and you feel at home right away. Um, it's all decorate, uh, decorated in, with their own familiarities. I mean, none of them look alike. So, that. Well, uh, I was really excited upon receiving an email that Tokyo Metropolitan Government is opening to uh, making short films because I'm excited. Uh, short films is my passion and it, I think it's a good medium to tell stories that are unique, that are special. So when I thought about the concept on... Uh, when I thought about the concept, uh, I realized I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, romance movies. So when I'm always traveling, I get uh, my experiences and shape them into a story. And the story I come up with is about a boy and a girl uh, meeting in a special place, a beautiful place. Two people who are different yet um, the same in some ways. Um, I'm a big fan of the movie by Richard Linklater uh, before sunrise and before sunset and before midnight so I got a lot of inspiration from the, uh, those films because it's a talking film but it's it's very magnificently written and the place is always uh, uh, important and integral to the story so uh, that's how I shaped my concept and uh, Tokyo is a beautiful place but it could, the beauty could come from the landscape, the place, as well as the, the people. Well, when I was first told that I was going to shoot in Japan, I was really excited, so I accepted right away. And now that I'm here, um, you know, usually when you hear about things, you don't want to expect too much because you don't want to be disappointed. But everything I expected, I mean, it went way over my expectations, and I'm even more in love with Japan than I thought I would be. And this story is coming out to be really, really amazing, and I think everyone will enjoy it. I love Japanese food. It's very fresh, um, very lean, and just the way they prepare everything. It's so, like, it's, it's, it's an art. They have, they have a certain way of cutting it. I think if I had to cut fish, I'd be like, frack, frack, frack. Here, it's just like, 
I have to say, probably my favorite spot is Hachiko and uh, Shibuya intersection. Every time I go there, I take out my phone, I take a picture even though I have about a million of them. It's just such a vibrant place. And, um, but I also, I also like the contrast of it. Where I'm from in Chicago, we have parks, but they're, they're nothing like the parks in Tokyo. I really love the dedication that the government puts into having these public places that they don't charge the people to come into and just they can enjoy this kind of a relaxed lifestyle and take in the greenery in a city that you know is, is quite fast paced and uh, yeah it's very nice. Favorite place in Tokyo? Well I the first time in Tokyo I never had Wi-Fi so the there was only a free Wi-Fi spot in Shibuya station in front of the Hachiko statue. So I would stay there for hours alone, and I would want uh, and I would watch uh, hundreds or even thousands of people crossing the street um, for hours. And they were very different. Some were tourists, some were young, some were old, some were kids, some had family, and it's a uh, uh, gave me a very nostalgic and romantic feeling so I really wanted to shoot in Shibuya and I got that wish so that's my favorite place about Tokyo um, I think overall the place the beautiful place is a given but I like the punctuality the discipline the politeness of the people in Tokyo and the drive for excellence. Yes, everyone, um, I wish you guys to enjoy Transit Visuals and to watch it. And through Transit Visuals, you also get to discover uh, the beautiful streets of Japan from a local's point of view and from a foreigner's point of view as well.